everyone, Yolanda here, and welcome to this short episode of The Other Side of the Dash. Welcome back guys. Today I just wanted to do a short video. Um, many of you know that I have started the keto lifestyle and I fell off the wagon, I must admit, but I am starting to get back on it. Um, it is a lifestyle. If, it's one, if you're looking for one of those diets that you think, you know, I'm going to do this to, to lose weight and then I'm going to stop, um, then the keto lifestyle is not uh, for you. Uh, there are various uh, types of keto, so you may want to look up and find out which one is, is right for you. There's strict keto, there's keto, there's lazy, lazy keto, there's dirty keto, there's all types of keto. But the main focus of keto, because you can get lost in all that kind of stuff, my main focus basically is upping my protein and uh, lowering my carbs. So, Carb Manager, and my fitness pal has one too, but right now, Carb Manager is the best one as far as figuring out your macros. And we'll get into macros in another video and I'll talk about all that later. But today's video is talking about snacks. Now, again, in, a, in another video, we'll talk about the strict forms of keto and, and not snacking and intermediate fasting and things like that. But if you're the kind of person who's always used to snacking and you know that you just can't stop cold turkey, there are some approved snacks that you can have while you're on keto. Um, it does work better when you do work in an intermediate fast or some kind of fasting in between meals. But if you're going to snack, make sure that they're healthy and keto approved snacks. So what I've used in the past and which I still use and which I will continue to use uh, are the... Um, these are the P3 Portable Protein Packs by Oscar Mayer. Now they have different ones. Um, I don't know why I got this one because I don't do cashews much because they, they are higher in carbs. Um, but they have the little cheese here. If you guys can see there, they've got cheese. They either have a nut or a, a meat. And then they have a meat. So they may have turkey, ham, or bacon or whatever they may be and they can run anywhere between three to six carbs and I try to stick to the three to four carbs this one has cashews which is, makes it five carbs uh, but I usually eat these these are usually keto approved um, and one and they only have one sugar you're gonna want to try to find something that has uh, very little to no sugar at all and this is what I like about these they have one sugar um, and the sugar that's in this one probably is coming from these cashews. So this is not something normally that I will pick up. I just happen to grab a handful. Um, you can get them anywhere from 150 to 225, depending on what store you go to uh, per pack. And I think that's that's a pretty good uh, deal. Uh, they have 12 grams of protein, 180 calories. And again, we'll talk about all that kind of stuff when we get into uh, talking about macros. Uh, but um, I'm looking here at the ingredients there is a little brown sugar so again you know keto is about kicking out lowering your carbs well part of keto i'm not going to say all about keto because again there's different sorts of keto and um we'll also get into in a later date dr barry and i think it's dr berg um, on youtube if you look those doctors up if i'm wrong i'll have them over here somewhere um, and a link to their uh, YouTube pages down uh, in the description box below. But um, they talk about various uh, different types of keto uh, for various types of patients, uh, diabetics, di uh, people who are diabetic like I am, uh, people with high blood pressure, people who have chronic pain. Um, so they really do, they do uh, talk about these uh, keto type diets or lifestyle helping these people with these particular ailments uh, but they do proceed with caution um, they do have you know their concerns they do voice those concerns but they do also tell you why they think they work as opposed to the advice that a doctor is going to give you and why they think they that you shouldn't um, but again another video for another day so this is not really about this p3 um, snack although I should have made them but I'll make another video about these p3s and get more into detail about these why I like these the various versions of these 
Today, I want to talk about the Hillshire Snacking Small Plates. So these were a little more expensive. I got these for $2.99 in my local um, Food Lion, which is our local grocery store here. And I got this because I wanted to try something a little bit different, right? So this had uh, smoky bourbon, seasoned beef, uh, with uh asiago cheese now i'm a cheese lover so i could eat cheese all day but i loved asiago cheese but either i don't or this is not real asiago cheese that was in here because it was disgusting um also it's now you guys know that been, since, since i've been on the keto experience uh my sugars have been normal my blood sugar levels have been normal which is a good thing so um, I haven't really been eating any sugars at all, so I've been watching that. So as soon as I ate the jerky here, because that's technically what it is, beef jerky, my sugar shot sky high. And I'm like, okay, now this is why it's important to read labels. I did not read this label. All I saw was beef jerky, Asiago cheese, and thought, hmm, let me mix it up a little bit and try something different. Did not see that it said smoky bourbon. Bourbon. First thing you think of bourbon is you think of barbecue. At least I do when I think of sugar. Didn't see that. So immediately when I took a bite without reading the label, my sugar shot up and the cheese was horrible. I really believe that it is not real cheese. I think it's imitation cheese, but that's just my opinion. So let's go to the back of the package. It has 180 calories. It has 14% uh, fat, 9 grams, no fiber. Seven grams of sugar, guys. That is a lot of sugar. Especially if you're a diabetic trying to get your blood sugar sugar levels, uh, you know, leveled. And you you are leveled. You're, you're at a regular level. And then all of a sudden you eat something that just shoots it back up. I mean, everything just goes haywire. So um, it does have 16 grams of protein. But going back to that, seven grams of sugars. Uh, and the carbs, guys. 10 grams of carbs um let me just read some of the ingredients on this one here uh beef brown sugar water soy sauce soybean salt sugar natural flavors salt cultured celery juice sea salt molasses powder yeast extract sugar smoke flavors modified food starch bourbon asiago cheese pasteurized milk cheese cultured salt potato starch, powdered cellulose to prevent caking, and natamycin, whatever that is, N-A-T-A-M-Y-C-I-N, and contains milk and soy. So maybe it might be a version of real Asiago. So if that's the case, I don't like Asiago. Um, but did you see how many times sugar appeared in the ingredients? So um, when it comes to the uh, small plates, the Hillshire uh, snacking small plates, this is a no-go, especially for keto. Now, if you're a person who are, who's looking for something high in protein, you don't care about the sugar, you don't care about the carbs, or anything like that, you're just looking for something different for just the protein aspect of it, then yes, this will work for you. But for someone like me who was trying to adapt the keto lifestyle, who was trying to cut carbs and sugars, this is a total fail. So that's all i wanted to, talk, to share with you guys today in this video i'll come to you guys as i experience other products and give my opinion and again this is a disclaimer this is basically my opinion of products that i've tried how they've worked for me and my experiences so uh again this is a fail if you want to go something more keto friendly and more low carb low sugar i'd go with the uh, oscar meyer p3 protein i call them protein packs so if you ever hear me refer to protein packs this is what i'm talking about so um go with this not with this so this has been another episode of the other side of the dash i want you to take a moment if you will please to hit that subscribe button and while you're at it hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video share with all your family and friends and i will see you next time on the next episode talk to you later folks bye bye